where did you begin? Where did you study art to start off with? Um, I think it goes back to say when I was 16. I was always drawing, but when I was 16 it became very apparent for me what I wanted to be doing. Um, I studied at Wimbledon for my foundation course, mm -hmm. then moved to Camberwell where I studied for two years mm -hmm. um, and left in my second year to study under Cecil, Charles Cecil at the uh, Cecil Studios in Florence. Um, I studied there for two years and came back to finish my degree at Camberwell mm -hmm. and I think graduated probably about three or four years ago, which is this kind of rather roundabout education. Do you teach now? No. No, um, I've done bits of teaching in the past, but nothing too, nothing too serious or formal. I identify myself primarily as a sculptor. Um, um, what do you look at in the terms of the history of sculpture? Um, <laughs> everything from kind of the cave paintings the cave sculptures, kind of the objects, the, uh, the Venuses, all the way through to kind of various 20th century sculptors, Giacometti, um, all the way up to uh, the Demet's cousins, kind of contemporarily, um, and David Nash at the moment. Are there any British sculptors who you feel have felt particularly close to? Um, well, I've worked on and off for Nicola Hicks over the past three or four years as a studio assistant. Um, I studied her work a lot when I was 16, 17. I did various copies of pieces. Um, and so the past few years I've been kind of learning a lot working in her studio kind of as general dog's body, kind of cleaning, helping build mm -hmm. armatures. Do you feel any link, for example, to a group of sculptors who still make a lot of money in the auction rooms which were rather out of fashion with our museums? I'm thinking of people like Lynn Chadwick, Reg Butler. Little More Frick. recently I do, yes. I've kind of been looking at Carl Chadwick and Reg Butler. Um, wasn't necessarily a conscious thing until, say, two years ago. Um, I started going around kind of Tate Britain, mm -hmm. studying these pieces, and they seemed to resonate. Mm -hmm. um, I went up to Stroud to see the uh, Lynn Chadwick house. Mm -hmm. These pieces suddenly felt very familiar. I work with metaphor, the work. I kind of prefer a rather indirect way of saying things, mm. kind of allude to them or use another means of saying it. Um, it allows me more freedom within the piece itself. I, I kind of, I wouldn't see myself as a public sculptor in, in terms of pieces in squares or um, on roundabouts mm -hmm. and so on. Generally because the majority of public sculpture that kind of exists at the moment is pretty atrocious and mm -hmm. derivative and I can't see there being kind of any shift mm -hmm. in towards something better, towards something kind of more interesting. It's, it's very corporate, it's very much kind of what sits it has to be done as part of the box ticking. When you say more interesting, do you also mean more complex? Yes, I mean more complex, um, either visually or conceptually. Okay, so the drawing can be the nascent of the piece. It invariably continues throughout kind of the making of the sculptures and often is a means of me exploring bits that I can't cover in the sculptures. I've often, I'll exhibit the two together, so the sculpture will be able to express one thing. The drawing kind of allows me to play with other things or to follow up on loose ends I felt I needed of tying so, up. So your drawings, in addition to being preparatory, yes. are a kind of commentary, is that correct? Yeah, so the, drawing, the drawings are as much commentary as, as preparation for the work itself. Um, are there any uh, artists of the past who draw whom you particularly admire? Um, 
There are lots of contemporary artists whose drawings I admire. Artists of the past I'd be looking at, again I go back to some of the cave drawings, which I saw a film of quite recently. And they look as fresh as if they were done I know, last week. The lines are as mm. kind of simple and kind of true mm. as if they'd been done you know, by Jenny Savile or mm. one of her ilk. But later than that? Uh, later than that, um, we go through Leonardo da Vinci. I could be looking at his kind of his studies of kind of water flow and clouds and storms. Um, who else be looking at? Again, looking at Picasso, but simply in kind of envy, and kind of being able to reduce it to, or be confident enough to reduce it to such simple forms or simple mm -hmm. lines. I would like to push the work I produce for the Apophenia show. So the big kind of cloud totems, the big cloud studies, the kind of Roy Short type work kind of further, either through getting them carved into wood and then kind of playing with kind of the surface, either with kind of blow torches or trying to shift. So I'd have my beginning sculpture and would then hopefully play around with it and create some kind of happy accident. So something unexpected would come from these kind of big sculptures. Um, I'd like to continue with various maquettes again on the same theme. Yes. Almost kind of freeform sculpture. I just allow say, my mind to run, either make the marks or kind of place more onto the sculptures. Um, it's something I particularly enjoyed creating the last set, I'll get an idea of the, the thrust, the general thrust you want from the sculpture, and then play within that, that kind of context. Do you come back to the studio at night and have another look? <laughs> I do very often. Sometimes Tell I sleep me. here as well. I, <clears throat> I often return to the studio at night or stay the night. I wake up to the sculptures, get a fresh eye. So you dream sculptor? Um, well, I'd, I'd live it and breathe sculpture, but I wouldn't say I, I dreamt sculpture. So I'm working with Isis Phoenix Arts for this upcoming project. Um, I was introduced to Jason by a painter friend of mine, mm. Tarek Berber, who I believe has a show coming up quite soon. Um, I was introduced to Jason at the private view of a group show they did. And when you say to the upcoming studio. project, what project? Well, I'll be doing a show <clears throat> with IPA um, and the Darren Baker Gallery, hopefully in July. Um, I'll be exhibiting the pieces behind me yeah. and uh, the various kind of cloud totems and cloud studies I've produced kind of over the past year. And this is your first solo show? It's my first formal gallery solo show. Um, I had my first solo show at the Royal College in the Gulbenkian Galleries last October. But this will be, uh, I think, yeah, the first formal gallery solo show. Okay, thank you. That's thank you. Fine.